Having the right headlamp can really make a difference when you're out on a hike, especially for a period of a few days or more. You've got to take into account things like weight, luminage, how it fits to your head, how the battery life goes, all that sort of stuff. It's important. In this video, we're going to be looking at four popular headlamps taken on hikes. We're going to be looking at the Petzl Bindi, the Petzl Actic. We're going to be looking at the Nightcore NU25, and we're going to be looking at the Petzl Swift RL. We're going to look at each one in a little bit of detail, talk about it, what I think of it, and give you a few options. So before we dive in, why is the right headlamp important? Well, when you're on those multi-day trips, it is important to have a headlamp that doesn't create too much weight in the pack, but can still suffice if for some reason you needed to walk around in the day. And obviously, trip to trip, this will depend on the trip you're going on and it will depend on your circumstances. But in general, it is good to have a lamp that is going to both be light and give you enough light to guide you along your way if you need to. And these headlamps today, they're designed with hikers in mind, with bushwalkers in mind, and even trail runners in mind. I've used these all for those different activities, but let's dive in, let's have a look. Hi everyone, Mauser here. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, then welcome aboard. If you're returning, if you've just come over from another video, then welcome back. Please like, please subscribe down below if you're enjoying the videos. And if you're new, then just give it a like. That would really help, I'd really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy the video. We're gonna dive into it now and we're gonna have a look at a few headlamps. Let's go. First up, we've got the Petzl Bindi. Now this is the lightest in the lineup, weighing in at 36 grams, and it's one I've spoken about before. I generally take this on most walks these days. Even on day walks, I pack the bindi in. It's a great little torch, and mainly because of the weight, it is just my favorite at the moment. It's got a drawstring sort of strap on it. It's got a red light if you hold the button in, that is good at night time. If you're doing photography and stuff, just having that red light option is good, I like that. And it's got quite a bright 200 lumen power. Is that what it is? Luminage. It's got 200 lumens of pet raw headlamp power and while that's not a huge amount compared to some of these other ones it is enough for me when i'm out on the track if i need to get around i can with this and it's also rechargeable so i can if i had to recharge it on the track there but with the little usb thing with my battery but i've never had to recharge it yet while i'm out on the track it retracts into itself like so so that the button can't accidentally be pressed if i had one complaint it would be that sometimes this flips out and it accidentally turns on in my pack and i'll open my pack and be on like that but again i've never had to charge the battery out on the track so petzl bindi great option great lightweight torch pretty inexpensive compared to some of the others and yeah it's a good torch and you know i like the name too Bindi. I just like saying, hey, it's a bindi. It's my Petzl Bindi torch. I'll say that a few times. Very satisfying. Bindi. Bindi. Anyway, that's the Petzl Bindi. Next torch. Next up, it is the Nightcore NU25. It is the newest edition of my kit. I've had it for about oh, nearly a year, I think. I have used it very little on a couple of times, but mainly when I have been walking around the neighborhood at night, I have tested it out and it's not bad. It's a good torch. It's very popular. I know it's been around for, I'm guessing, five or six years. The Nightcore, very popular in the States, I think, but it also has the red light option there which is nice. It also has an output of 400 lumens and a longer battery life than the Bindi, but I haven't had to test that because the Bindi's always lasted. This is a good option. It's pretty much the same weight, 12 grams more than the Bindi. The only thing I find with this is that I just find it a bit uncomfortable on the head. Probably doesn't matter if I'm wearing a beanie or a hat like this. That's not a problem, but I do find maybe because it's a bit bigger when you compare the two, obviously the Bindi's smaller, but it is got less luminage and it is a bit lighter, but I just find that that fits on the head a bit nicer than this. So I just find that a little bit uncomfortable, but it's a good headlamp, I don't mind it. Definitely one I will keep in the camera bag, stuff like that. I'll probably end up taking on walks at some stage, I think, um, when this little one here, which is getting on long in the tooth, dies one day that will replace it but yeah nightcore i do like this sort of strapping system where it's just minimal minimalist or it's a minimalist strapping system for the head that's all you need in a head torch and yeah that's a great lightweight option too you could take your pick with either of them if you want a little bit more power and probably a bit better for walking at night then the nightcore is probably going to be the way to go it's got good beam good light and the nightcore in u25 powerful it's blinding me it's not bad actually 
not bad at all. So that is a very good option if you need to walk a bit more in the dark at night on tracks, I would say. Links for all this stuff, by the way, is down below. And just a heads up, if you purchase via the Amazon link, I may get a commission. Don't know, I'm not that big a YouTuber yet, but you may help me out if you do. So anyway, that's the second one, the Nightcore NU25. Next torch. Next up, we've got the Petzl Actic. This was an old favorite of mine prior to getting the Bindi. This is a bit heavier at 81 grams. It's 450 lumens of raw headlamp power. And that's probably the reason I think I bought it back in the day. It, was a, it had good lumen in. I was always about the lumens back in the day. I'm more about weight these days. And a good balance, I think, is weight and lumens. And I'm in around the two to 300 lumen range, I think, and less than 50 grams for a head torch, as per those previous two. But this is still a great torch, still gets used all the time. I actually ended up buying a few of these for my kids, for when they go on camps and when we go camping together. And they love theirs. Mine has the rechargeable battery, which I think I actually paid extra for at the time. Hopefully they come standard these days. You can buy the Actic batteries separate to put in your existing torch. Um, and it's got a very nice headband, but probably a bit of overkill. You probably wouldn't get away with one of those string headbands on this, but it is still a good torch. The battery is bigger. That is the Petzl battery rechargeable in there that comes out. You can charge it out separately if you needed to by just removing the battery and these same batteries are still available. So that's it there. The Petzl battery rechargeable. It's called the core battery, sorry, not the Actic. It's called the Petzl core battery. That goes on and you've got the red light again there by holding in the button. You hold it in to turn it off and then you've got your different sort of powers there and you can hold it in and it doesn't do anything. So the battery is running a bit flat on that, but you get the idea. Very powerful torch and a good one for when you wanna be walking regularly at night, I would say. It could also double as a running torch, as a good little running torch, although we'll talk about the next one in a bit more detail. But it's an Actic torch. That was an old favorite. Really love that torch. And like I said, it still comes out a lot when we're walking. Next headlamp. Next up, we've got the Petzl Swift RL. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Petzl Swift RL headlamp. This one weighs in at 101 grams, so it's three times heavier than the Petzl Bindi. I like that, Bindi. It's a good word. And it's a bit heavier, but with that you get a lot more luminage. This bad boy puts out 900 lumens of headlamp lumen power. So this makes it really good for running, for hiking regularly at night time. If you're going on a hike and you're gonna be walking all night, maybe you're in the desert or something and you're only walking at night time, don't know, but it's good for that. I bought this as a running headlamp, not as a hiking headlamp. And it's been really good for when I've gone out in those early morning runs back in the day, not running so much at the moment, but it was really good when I needed a headlamp really early when it was still dark, it would just completely illuminate the whole track. Really good for that. And the other thing with this one was if you're running at night and there's cars coming from the opposite direction, it would automatically dim for the oncoming traffic so it wouldn't blind them. So it was really good from that perspective too. So it's got a lock on the button there, which was handy too, so it doesn't accidentally turn on. So that just, oh, I've turned it on. I've accidentally turned it on. That's good, isn't it? So it was good from that perspective. And you can either activate just one light or you can hold in the top and then activate the double head beam, which is what I'd run with. And that, look at that power. Look at that. Oh, that is powerful. And then you just turn it off and go back to one beam when you're just around camp if you're using it for that. The headband is quite comfortable. It's a pretty serious headband. That's probably adding a bit of weight, but overall, very nice, very good one. And again, rechargeable, no replacing batteries at all with this thing. It's all rechargeable by the plug there. And that's how you would charge it. I often don't have to charge this for quite some time. You get a few hours out of the battery in that. Full beam, probably less, but I rarely have it on full beam for an entire run and again i use this torch i've got heaps of torches but i use them all pretty regularly i suppose when you've got four kids and you're out at night walking dogs and things around the neighborhood you need them but that is a good running torch and if i was going to be doing some big adventure race or something i'd probably take that if i was going to be running and walking at night a lot i reckon i would probably carry that one because um just because that extra light it gives and it sits a bit more comfortably on the head if you were running with this dual loop thing at the back. So that is the Petzl Swift 
RL. You know, and all of these torches also water, I hate saying waterproof, they basically are water resistant, I would say. They've all been wet before, they've all been covered in water and haven't had any troubles with them, but do be careful, don't purposely get them wet. Pets are a good brand of torch, which is why I've got so many of that brand. I have tried black diamond torches in the past. The one I did have, not a fan, it died within a year or so, the wooden charge, and it was very dim. Can't remember what the name was, sorry, but that was my experience with them. I just stick with good quality stuff. I've said that before, and Petzl, I think, is the best quality headlamp out there. That's what all the cavers are using. If cavers are using a Petzl, it must be doing something right because you don't want to be down a cave and have your headlamp die on you. So that's why I've got the Petzl's. Little couple of bonus headlamps to show you very quickly. Here's my old Nao, the Petzl Nao. This one was 750 grams. That was bought for running again, maybe a dozen years ago, 10 years ago. That's a heavy torch, rechargeable, and it was nearly 200 grams, but a good torch for running. But just, it was a tangle mess every time you got it out. You have this set up and you've got to figure out where all the strings are going and stuff. So yeah, while it served its purpose, it was good, still works and that just comes out very rarely these days very powerful beam but you know that served its purpose while i had it and then you can't remember it turned off and finally one other petzl torch petzl on the brain today it is one that i sort of show you if you've got kids and you want to get them a head torch i think kids loving having a head torch especially if you're out camping or something and you're spotlighting for animals that sort of thing my youngest child i got this for him when he was about three or four that's a petzl tikina torch he loves purple, so I got him this purple head torch, and that is a great little kid's head torch. The batteries can't be accessed because it's got a screw on the top where you screw it in, but it just runs on a couple of AAAs, and it's good output in terms of beam. It's not too bright, so in case they shine in their face, it doesn't blind them, but it's a good little thing. They're still available online. That's the Petzl Tekina, that one there. The other cool thing as well, when you're turned off, glows. So the kids love that too. But that's just a good option for kids. If you're going hiking or camping with little kids, Petzl Tekina, good option. So there you have it. Just a quick overview of the headlamps today. Wanted to put that out there because I was packing to go away, looking which headlamp I'm gonna take, and thought I'll do a video on this before I go away. So there you go. If you've enjoyed the video, then like, subscribe, and also hit that little bell thing too, and you'll be notified when we put a new video out. We put one out every week, so stay tuned for the next one, and I look forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, get out there, have an adventure, enjoy the trails, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, and see you later.